Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. It's time to share with you what happened today, many years ago in history. And uh, I'm going back to the year 2014. It was uh, on this day that um, a particular football coach ended his time in Manchester United. David Moyes was sacked on this day just after 10 months in charge of Manchester United. It was a tough time for Manchester United fans all you know, across the world, both you know, dead and alive. Even you know, the ones who... <laughs> it, it was just a totally, totally stressful time for Manchester United fans. And we had maybe, well, my new fans had maybe one of the worst runs ever. <laughs> Right after Sir Alex Ferguson left, um, you know, uh, that position, he had been there for about 27 years. And when, you know, after winning the league in 2012, I believe, decided that it was time for him to retire. Um, there was many conversations about who, you know, possibly take over from Sir Alex Ferguson. And somehow, someway, miraculously, nobody knows where this decision came from or how this was, you know, thought through. Um, but David Moyes was picked to replace uh, Sir Alex Ferguson. I'm not even going to read the script. I'm just going to share with you. We played 51 games and won 27, drew um, uh, nine, or rather lost nine and... Um, Sorry, won 27, yes, lost uh, 15 and uh, drew nine games. Um, we, at that time, finished seventh in the 2013-2014 season. Uh, we're not, you know, able to qualify for the Champions League or the Europa League. Total, you know, total, you know, mess. That's what Manchester United was at that time. Uh, but it was on this day that uh, the board, uh, the Glazer brothers at that time, decided that it was time that they let David Moyes go. And he was eventually replaced with uh, Louis van Gaal. If you remember, David Moyes was, uh, you know, before he was appointed Manchester United coach, he was a coach of Everton Football Club. He was awarded £5 million in compensation after he was sacked. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, a lot of times, you know, all through this 10-month period, nobody really believed in his capabilities um, as a coach of one of the biggest football teams in the world. <sighs> yeah. I'm really just sharing the story from my heart. I really don't think you have to, oh, sorry, have to I go can, through I a write-up. I can sense the passion. It's fine. <laughs> I understand how... Goodbye, you know. sir. <laughs> I remember also when he was appointed, his daughter changed her Twitter bio to daughter of new Manchester United manager. <laughs> <laughs> New Manchester United manager, man, you know, and we we we. If it was you, we've been through be a lot. We've been through okay. a lot as a as a club. Okay. <laughs> Since Alex Ferguson left, we've been through a lot. It's been tough times, oh you my. know. So it's been David Moyes to Luis Van Gaal to Jose Mourinho, and then of course, um, um, currently. Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He'll you know, be at fine. Interim period. Um, um, Ryan Giggs has also had to step in as an interim coach in the period, but. Um, one of the worst times was... Put your hand period. on your chest and say, we will be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. We're doing pretty well now, yeah. though. Pretty well. All right. Let's talk about Earth Day. April 22nd of every year is celebrated as Earth Day. And on this day in history in 1970, the world celebrated the first ever Earth Day in the United States of America. So Earth Day, in case you're just hearing it for the first time, is an event to increase public awareness of the world's environmental problem. Now, millions of Americans, you know, participated in rallies and educational programs, you know, across the country to create awareness for the state of environmental degradation that we're seeing and calling for people to put hands together to save the earth, save the planet, and save the environment. You know, basically creating environmental awareness. So I'm gonna skip through all the, you know, all the jargon and just give you practical ways that you can help save the environment, practical ways that you can, you know, save the earth, save the planet and protect the earth. Number one, you can reuse, you can recycle, you can reduce waste, right? So you can cut down what you can throw away, you know, just basically three hours to conserve natural resources, reduce, yeah. reuse, recycle. You can volunteer for cleanups. I know when we talk about um, environmental sanitation, lots of people would rather just be in their house because of their last night's activities as Harrogate. So you can actually, <laughs> you know, volunteer on the weekends. You can come out, you know, clean the, you know, the gutters, the drainage in your environment. When, the, you know, there are usually lots of, you know, volunteer groups that do these things every now and then to go to the beaches to clean up, you know, so you can volunteer to clean up the environment. You can educate people on the importance of natural resources and the importance of the environment. See, this particular thing I'm about to say, you know, it pisses me off so much. It hurts me so bad 
when I see people drink, you know, bottled water, whatever it is, and they throw it out from the window of buses from their cars, I, all, I just want to ask, ask them, did you put a trash bin there? You throwing that sachet Wrong. water from your car, did you put a trash bin on the road? It pisses me off so bad. I am such an anti-littering advocate. Don't do that, Well, I think, I think there's, there's so much, you know, if we're serious about um, saving the earth, um, we've also started to see um, little signs, and we probably haven't seen these signs for a long time, of how Mother Earth can one day just get upset and, and wipe off, you know, 100,000 people. Um, you know, but we, we've also, there's a lot, you know, that needs to be done. You know, aside not throwing away plastic um, on the roadside, aside not blocking our gutters and all of that with um, uh, uh, waste, mm -hmm. there's so much. You know, go, go, to, go, go around Lagos, you know, every, every time that you go and sit by the waterside and have a great evening on with, you know, that date or that guy who has been asking you out for a long time. Oh, just that look one, that into one I told the, you about. Just, just look into the water and see how dirty, dirty. it is. Um, the waters around and Lagos. And we did you know, that. And, and, We're responsible. Yeah, and this is so-called mega city Lagos Island. Um, it's a mess. So quickly, um, let me wrap up time, the, the list. Right, just, oh, sorry, okay, really, we'll run out of time. Use less water, right? I know we love the shower. We like to just, you know, be under it and pretend we're all Beyonce and, you know, sing our hearts out. Well, we can use less water. You know, that would really go a long way into preserving wastewater. And uh, we can shop wisely. We, you can buy less plastic. I know a lot of Nigerians, we all have that cabinet. We all have that nylon that has so oh, many I nylon have, in I the have, house. I have two, actually. I do, trust me. It's a whole bag. So I'm guilty. We're guilty. So we can use less plastic, right? We can recycle plant a tree you know plant a tree if you have you know if it's your own, your own house your own compound i'm very sure your landlord would even be happy about that yeah. plant a tree you know it's 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 great for the environment um use long lasting light bulbs you know efficient you know energy efficient light bulbs it reduces you know greenhouse gas emissions also you can you can buy secondhand. You can buy secondhand clothes. Those are great for the environment as well because it takes about 700 gallons of water to grow enough cotton to make just one T-shirt. So, mm. you know, recycle. Buy secondhand clothes instead of heading to the mall to buy yeah. new clothes, you know, and flex on the ground. You can buy secondhand clothes. Shopping secondhand clothes, really. Secondhand games, toys, things like that really helps for the environment. You can buy local. You know, buy things to your local grocery store. You know, the people you see selling fruits by the roadside, buy from those people. It's, it's, it's fantastic. There are lots of things you can do. You can use fewer chemicals. You can take a walk, take a bike instead of driving. You know, there are lots you can do. You can read this up online. It's, it's Earth Day today, April 22nd, every year. Do something today to protect the environment. If you're in the habit of throwing things out of the car on the road, you can try to stop that today. Thanks and God bless you. And listen to Michael Jackson's uh, Earth song yes. um, today to commemorate it. Anyway, we're going on a short break. When we come back, our first major conversation for today is back to talking security. Yes. Um, what happens after Idris... Um, um, Derby. Derby, I was going to say Elba. Idris <laughs> Derby's death, you know, and of course, what must be done to save, you know, the West African subregion and Nigeria also from an overflow of these militia groups. Stay with us.